Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today you'll learn everything you need to know about zinc supplementation in just a few minutes. All the questions that you're asking yourself about zinc are going to be answered, so make sure to stay till the end. Firstly, what is zinc and why is it so important? Zinc is a mineral just like copper, magnesium, calcium, potassium. It's naturally found in foods and it's involved in many health functions such as immune functions, protein synthesis, it's also important for healing from a wound and it's involved in growing, growing bones and growing muscle. But the most crucial aspect of zinc is its link with testosterone. Zinc is involved in testosterone production, right? And as you probably know, testosterone is extremely important for every aspect of your health, especially if you're male. And for all those amazing benefits, some people want to take zinc supplements. But how much zinc do you need per day? Which actually leads to the question, do you need the supplement, right? Because if you don't take and of zinc through your diet, you might want to supplement. The RDA, the recommended dose of zinc, is around 8 milligrams per day if you're a woman and 11 if you're a man. But how do you know that you're reaching those amounts, right? How do you know you're eating enough zinc? If you're eating enough zinc rich foods, obviously you don't need supplement. And the foods that contain the most zinc are eggs, dairy products, there's also plant based sources from beans, nuts grains, oats, but the top of the list is fish, meat, like ground beef, and the top of the top is oysters. Oysters are by far the richest food in zinc. It's eight times higher in zinc than the second one on top of the list, which is ground beef. So unless you're blasting oysters every day, which you probably aren't, you might believe that you don't eat enough zinc. Science says, and as always, all the scientific references are in the description below. Approximately 17% of the world's population is deficient in zinc, which is actually not that much. It's less than one out of five people. So you're probably getting enough zinc through your diet, through actual food. But there is a big caveat here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made this video, obviously. And is that plant-based zinc, zinc coming from pumpkin seeds, for example, from oats, from lentils, is far less absorbed, far less bioavailable than animal zinc, just like protein. When you think about protein, we all know that soy protein is not going to be as well absorbed as animal protein coming from ground beef, for example. And it's the exact same thing with zinc. And that's because plants contain phytate, which is a natural molecule, a natural component of plants, but it severely decreases the bioavailability of zinc. And you can get as little as just 5% of zinc absorption if you eat a lot of high phytate food. So it doesn't mean that you have to go carnivore, ketogenic diet, and you have to avoid fruits and vegetables. I'm not telling that at all. By all means, eat your fruits and vegetables. But I'm just saying that according to science, you get enough zinc through your diet, but actually a large part of it is not going to be absorbed by your body because you're eating phytates from plants. And that's why you may want to supplement. You want to supplement, obviously, if you have deficiency symptoms such as low testosterone and everything that comes with it, like low libido, low energy, hair loss, brain fog, and sicknesses. The other symptoms of zinc deficiency are diarrhea, low appetite, slow wound healing, and slow growth if you're a kid. But I personally believe that the best way to know if zinc is good for you or not is just to try. You get a one month supply and I'm not sponsored by any brand, by any company to say that. I'm not paid by anyone, but just get a one month supply of zinc try, you don't change anything about your lifestyle. This way, it's a real scientific experiment. And by the end of the month, you just took zinc and it made you feel better. It means that zinc is good for you and you should supplement with it year round. Now, if you supplement, there's another question. What is the upper limit? Can you take too much zinc? If you've watched my previous video uh, about magnesium supplementation, and I invite you to go watch that video if you haven't already, you know that there's no big deal if you take too much magnesium. Excess magnesium is eliminated by the kidneys, so there's no big deal. But for zinc, it's completely different. If you take above 40 to 50 milligrams of zinc per day, which is several times the recommended dose. So it's just completely stupid to take that. But if you take that amount, then it interferes with magnesium absorption. And then it leads to a bunch of health issues because as you know, magnesium is tremendously important for recovery, for sleep, for stress management, 
and so on. So don't abuse zinc, of course, just stick to the recommended dose and you will be perfectly fine. And the last thing to know about zinc is which form to take. What is the best one? Well, actually, the most bioavailable forms of zinc are zinc citrate, zinc glycinate, and zinc gluconate. According to several studies, those forms of zinc are much more bioavailable than zinc oxide or sulfate. And we're talking about a 10 to 20% difference depending on the study. So any kind of zinc supplement is good, but if you can afford it, it's preferable to take zinc citrate gluconate or glycinate. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a bunch of stuff about zinc supplementation. If you did, please let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe to my channel as well, and click the bell button, and have a nice day.